Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today what I have for you is episode 11 of my Football Manager 22 save with Derby County. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like on it, it's free to do so and it does massively help out the channel. Subscribe if you are new as well, that is also free. We're trying to get 200 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year, so if you could subscribe that would be massively appreciated. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of one upload. Drop a comment in down in the comments down below and share the video around with your family and friends to help boost the video in the YouTube algorithm. Now we've not played too many games since the last episode but we do have a big game today against Liverpool in the FA Cup and we have another league match for you as well but a bit of news has actually happened since you were last with us. Firstly our under 23 has got relegated to the under 23 Premier Division 2 so not really ideal to be honest. If you have a quick glance at our emails. You might have seen something there. We touched on it a little bit in the last episode. If you've not already checked out last episode, make sure you do so. We released our top goal scorer. Also, we got our youth intake through, which I think it's fair to say it looks pretty decent, to be honest, considering these are, what, like 15 years old, something like that, 14, 15, 16 years old. It's a five-star excellent intake. We've already got this guy, Bruce Doob, who's a 15-year-old uh, centre-back, but can also play right-back or DM, potentially right wing back, but not really. And he's already two star current ability. He looks absolutely fantastic. We've got some top talents, some good talents, and some decent talents. So we've not really got anybody who is absolutely awful. We've also made some transfers since the last episode. We will go on over and have a look at them. If we go over to our transfer history, you can see here we did bring in Connor Wickham. He has joined us on a deal until the end of next season. He was only he would only join if he'd sign until the end of next season. So we've got him in. We needed a striker. He's on two hundred and fifty pounds more than Sam. Baldock, but obviously, you know, he's probably actually going to play this season. He's already played for us a little bit so far this season, and he's done very well. We have also signed Brandon Barker on a pre contract from Rangers. He's going to be joining us on the 9th of June 2022, so you probably won't see him in this actual series unless we decide just to continue with it. I might start uploading more on this channel, but with college and just Foot five aside and Bradford City. I just don't really have the time to upload in every day. I would love to be able to upload twice a day on this channel and stream and do everything else, but I just physically don't have the time. But anyway, he's coming and he'll be joining us at the start of next season on a two year contract. Looks very good. Already three and a half star current ability at 25 years of age. He has a lot of potential as well on a free transfer. It just kind of seemed like a no brainer. But we have, if we go over to the schedule, we have played a couple of games since the last time that you were with us. The last time you saw was this 5 1 win again, 5 1 win, 5 1 defeat against Barnsley. We then followed that up with a 4 1 defeat away to Bomb. We actually won a football match. I think it's our first league win in six or seven games, something like that. Connor Wickham with a brace on his second game for the club. I do want to say, did he play against Bournemouth? He did play against Bournemouth. On his second game for the club, he got a brace away at third place Blackburn and uh, we managed to pick up the victory there. So we managed to get back finally to winning ways. In today's episode though, we have Liverpool at home in the FA Cup quarterfinal and we also have Coventry at home in the Championship. There probably will only be one, potentially two more episodes after this depending on how well we do in the FA Cup. If we lose in the FA Cup, probably will only be one more episode. If we win and someone managed to beat Liverpool, we'll probably get two more episodes in for you guys. It depends really how well we do in the FA Cup, which will depend on how how many more episodes there is for you guys but if we do lose to Liverpool today the next episode will be Blackpool versus Cardiff and then we shall be starting probably our Bradford City save on Football Manager and that's when the career mode episodes will return so make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and I shall see you all once I pick the team for this game against Liverpool I don't know who this Jurgen Klopp guy is but he seems to think that our we're, we're an easy opponent um, I'm pleased to be facing what has to be considered a weaker team. We've all due to respect to Derby going into a match like this as uh, as favourites is a huge boost for us. Let's go and beat them. Eh? We've also signed some of these youth candidates to whoever were recommended. But what I am most excited about is this Bruce Doob. What a name. Mr. Doob, uh, he doesn't really have great potential to be honest. But the fact he's already two star current ability at... Uh, 15 years of age. It makes me think he could be something pretty decent. We've also got Christo Stern, who, uh, he, he, I mean, again, he, his potential isn't the greatest either, but we'll have to just wait and see how they develop into the future. We probably won't ever really see them play, to be honest, just because of how short this series is going to be. Here we have it then. This is the team that I'm going to be using for this game at home to Liverpool in the quarter-final of the FA Cup. We line up in a 4-2-3-1 formation. I thought, you know what? We won the last game with the 4-2-3-1 formation. We'll go with it again in this game. Yes, we did well against West Ham with the 4-3-3, but I just we don't really have the fit players. To be honest with that, we've got a lot of tired players. Wickham, unfortunately, misses out of the squad completely because he's just far too tired. But we line up then, as I just said, in the 4-2-3-1 formation. We've got Marshall starting in goal. 
goal. A back four of Byrne, Bielik, Davies and Buchanan. Shinny and Bird start in the midfield. Sibley starts out on the right. Brave starts out on the left and Johnson is in behind Ka uh, Colin Kazim Richards. He's currently unhappy at the club because of my team talks. Let's get into this match then. I mean, this is more just about the revenue we're going to get because I think it, yeah, I think it's actually a 50-50% split to be honest, which isn't really ideal. It would have been much better if this was away at Anfield, but they've gone with pretty much a full strength side apart from changing their goalkeeper. I mean, that is pretty much full strength, isn't it? Not very ideal, and it's not exactly like Keller is a bad goalkeeper, isn't it? They've won four out of their last five games. It's going to be a very tough game. Just go out and enjoy the occasion. There is no pressure on anyone today. There's absolutely no pressure on anyone. Just go out there, enjoy the occasion. If you cause an upset, brilliant. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. We got to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup and the quarter-final of the FA Cup at an absolute minimum. I don't think the fans can really complain about that. We're doing all right in the league as well, considering we had a minus 12 points deduction. We're now... I wouldn't say comfortably, but we are currently outside the relegation zone. We've not many games left to play, as Robertson goes very close there early on for Liverpool. But I think we're having a pretty good season, to be honest. If you consider all circumstances, the amount of injuries we've had, the amount of injuries we had when we started the save, the complete lack of players we had, I think we've done a, I think we've done an alright job, to be honest. Bielik with a good header away there, but only finds Thiago on the edge of the area, carrying the ball forward for Liverpool. He gets the ball into the box. Firmino's there! And Roberto Firmino has his 16th goal this season. It's not a game that I expect to win. It's not like it's the Barnsley game. You know, if we get battered 5-1 in this game, it's not the end of the world. You know, Liverpool are one of the best teams in England. It's a great goal. It's poor defending, to be honest. I would, I would have liked to have not conceded a header to, to Bobby Firmino. I think Bielik's got to be doing a little bit better there, personally. He just mistimes his header. As always, whether it's all sop or whether it's Marshall in goal, they don't have arms. So if it's a shot on target, it's probably going to go in. 25 minutes on the clock. Liverpool are currently winning by one goal to nil. Trent has a free kick here. Marshall's positioned nicely, and he is able to claim that. So it's not the end of the world. The highlight is going to continue, though. Marshall with the ball. Boots it long, looking for Kazim Richards. But it's a really poor clearance up the pitch. I mean, they're told to play out from defence, so I don't know why they're doing that. Thiago with an unreal ball into Sadio Mane. It's a good save from Marshall, but the ball's not away yet. Mane hits the post. And Burn plays into Sibley, and we should be able to get some yardage up the pitch. That was very close once again for Liverpool. It's a great ball from Thiago. It's been a, it's been a very action-packed game so far. Thiago's on the ball once again. He spins well, and he plays a good ball into Trent. They've managed to break our press. Salah now running down the far side. You don't want to see Salah running at Curtis Davies. Good tackle, though, from Buchanan. Buchanan has pocketed more Salah, but then he's given the ball away again. I mean, he did everything right. All he had to do was just pass the ball there, and he'd been given loads of praise. But Fabinho into Henderson... Mane on the ball, plays it out wide to Trent, who's just got loads of space. Brave, get back and help your team out. Ball comes in, Mane heads just over the bar. I mean, they're creating some chances, to be honest, but nothing really clear-cut so far. They, they, you know I mean? They've done all right, have Liverpool. But, you know I mean? We're not, we, I wouldn't say we've been a pushover, like what Jurgen Klopp were claiming in his pre-match press conference. I mean, Burn, what is actually the point in bloody Burn? I, I get Mane's a pretty good footballer, right? He, he, you know what I mean? He's all right at kicking that round thing into the goal a few times, but at least like foul him or something. Don't just let him run past you like he's not even there. He missed the chance earlier on. I don't think there was any chance of him missing that one. Look, Burns just caught napping, and by the time he blinks, he's already passed him. It's Derby County nil. Liverpool 2, and I think we can kiss goodbye to any chances of doing well in the FA Cup this year. Salah goes long once again. I mean, when I meant foul him, I didn't mean do that. He's got another red card. I mean, how many red cards has Nathan Byrne had so far this season? He's had quite a lot. Um, right, what we're going to do then is put Johnson to right back. Uh, and we'll get Bally Mumba on for, for Johnson. Just not really the idea. I mean, we'll put them on to, just to attack now. Because, well, we've got nothing to lose, really. So we might as well put them on to attack. It's really disappointing that from... Uh, from Nathan Byrne, I expected better from him, but he, he, he's had an absolute stinker, hasn't he? He's fouled Martin, he's been sent off. We, we've not organised the wall in time, and Trent's nearly found the top corner. That was very close. Bloody hell, thankfully that doesn't find the top corner. I mean, maybe it wasn't the greatest of ideas of showing you this game, because we've had we've had one shot, none on target yet. It's not going well, but it's Liverpool, all right? You know what I mean? It's something that you guys can enjoy. You can, you can clearly see the golfing class. We're definitely not ready for the Premier League or anything like that. If we got to the Premier League, to be fair... Considering the two teams that are playing at the moment, to be only be 2 0 down at half time, not really going to complain about that. I mean, we'll tell them they've been terrible. I don't think they've played that badly, to be honest. We'll put them onto attacking as well, commit a few more players forward, get them higher up the pitch. We might as well just start resting players now. 
If they get a third, that's when I think we'll make us subs and bring Boo Cannon off and maybe Brave off, just to rest them for the, the game. There we go. They've got the third. Fabinho's probably just scored one of the best goals I've ever seen. We don't have a left-back on the bench either. I mean, Mumbo is meant to be the left-back, but that's not gone well, has it? Well, you know what we can do? We can go to a back three. It, it didn't work very well in the last episode. I'll be back in a second once I've sorted this out. Right, there we go then. This is the team that we're going to be using for the rest of the game. Conway has also entered the field as well as Valasquez. So... It's a very attacking. We'll tell them to also play through the middle because that is where the majority of our players are. Confirm the changes. Let's get into the final 40 minutes of the game. I actually can't believe what Fabinho has just done there. From, from, from a volley, that's one of the hardest techniques I think I've ever seen. And he's managed just to... He, he's, he made it look effortless, hasn't he? I mean, Fabinho does very well there. He's got loads of time, really, to whip the ball in. Fabinho on the edge of the area. He somehow, like, kicked... I don't even... Is that even physically possible what he's just done there? He's, uh, for a man of Fabinho's stature, I don't actually think that's physically possible. We, you know, we'll blame it on, we've just been FM'd. That's what we'll say. We've not lost this game because they're any better than us. Don't look at the stats. We've lost this game because we've been football managered. That's what we can say about that. They're not even playing that well, to be honest. I mean, they're having some players who are playing all right, but it's just pretty easy for Liverpool, isn't it? We didn't really stand much chance going into the game. We'll blame it on the fact Connor Wickham's too tired. Come on, let's have a go. Give the fans something to cheer. Go on, Sibley. I'm now pronouncing his name right as well. For those who were watching right from the start, you know, I, I love being calling him Silby recently, but Firmino's on the ball here. Liverpool got a chance to counter-attack his ear, and this is not what you want to see. We've got another red card. Oh, no. Graham Shinney's been sent off now. I mean, thankfully, he, he's usually a bench player, so it's not the end of the world. We'll drop Mumba back in central midfield. This is what I like about Bally Mumba. He's very versatile. He can play pretty much anywhere, apart from probably striker. And centre-back, he can actually play anywhere, obviously not including goalkeeper. Jota on the ball. We've got nine men. It doesn't really matter what happens now. If we could just, just try and do something, though, that'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Stop it from being embarrassing. I mean, Marshall, what have you actually done there? I don't know why they're celebrating. Uh, see, the the point was, lads, when Jurgen Klopp said we won't be an easy opponent, was to not go down to nine men to make the scoreline look embarrassing. We'll, go, we'll just go very defensive, just damage limitation, really. I mean, I don't know why Firmino's completely unmarked out. It's not like we don't have any defenders. It's not like we've not got three centre-backs on the pitch or anything. 65 minutes on the clock. It's it's Derby County nil, Liverpool 4. I mean, the last game you saw, conceded 5. This game, probably going to concede at least 5 as well. It's not been a great last couple of games for us, is it? Let's hope the next game in the league, we can actually do, do, do a good thing and kick the ball in the goal more times than our opponents do. Hopefully not get any more red cards as well. Maybe we need to remove get stuck in. But maybe we should take that off. Because we just get far too many. I don't mind when we get yellow cards, but when we're down to nine men against Liverpool, it makes it very hard. As if the game wasn't hard enough already, it does make it very tough. 66 minutes on the clock. It's still 4 0 to Liverpool. Graham Shinney's dropped to 5.9. I mean, it's annoying about Burn because, but he probably needed the rest anyway. He's been very tired recently. And he probably could do with the rest. I don't know how long the ban will be. I mean, right, Marshall's drops now. I, 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 we need a goalkeeper. We need a goalkeeper. There's no free agent goalkeepers available that my director of football knows as well because maybe we shouldn't have sold Keller Roos because, I mean, you've tried to save it before he's even headed the ball. It's 5-0. This is not fun. This this really is not fun. Craig Conway on the ball, crosses it in. Kazim Richards, of course, he's, he's never going to beat Van Dijk in the air realistically, is he? Jotter on the ball now, carrying it forward, up against Bielik. Can we put a foot in? That's what we've got to get stuck in for. That's what it's on for. You're not on a yellow card, so just go and flatten him. Hit him in the face with your elbow or something. Henderson lays it off to Jones. It's a good block. I think that's from Curtis Davies. Ball falls back to Trent, though. Goes that way to Robertson. Can he get the shot off? He's going to cut it back. Jota, it, that's actually a really good save from Marshall. It's a shame that Milner's now scored. It's 6-0. Oh, dear. Just a reminder, we do have nine men on the pitch, though. So, don't take this literally. We do have nine men on the pitch. Blame Burn and Shinny. Don't blame my tactics. Blame Burn and Shinny. I mean, it's a great save there from Marshall, to be fair. Maybe he's pre-read it, but we, they've just got so many players in the box. We could, just couldn't do anything about it. Are we going to get another man sent off here? I don't think so, but they've got a free kick right on the edge of the area, which I presume Trent's probably going to put in the top corner. He eats the post and it's cleared by Davies. Can we, can we just have a goal, please? I don't care if we concede three more. Just let us have a goal. They get so back and so quickly back into shape. Look at how dominant they've been in this game. We finally just had another shot there. We've had one shot per half. So, nothing to really complain about. Full-time, Derby County nil, Liverpool 6. I hope you enjoyed the FA Cup run while it lasted. 
because it didn't last very long, did it? Right, we've got another league game to get into now, and we're going to be without a couple players. Let's get into it. Here we have it then. This is the team that I'm going to be using for this game at home to Coventry City. We line up in a 4-2-4 formation. We've got four players currently away on international duty, that being Johnson, uh, Valasquez, uh, I can't remember the other two, but we've got, it said we had four players away on international duty, so maybe because they're not all first team players, we can't postpone the game, but missing Johnson and Valasquez are two pretty important players for us, that's disappointing, but anyway, we've got Allsop in goal, a back four of Mumba, Bielik, Stearman and Buchanan, a midfield two of Sibley and Bird, Banafa on the right, Braith on the left and Wickham and Kazim Richards up front. Wickham got two goals in the last game that he played, so I, I've got big expectations for him. In this game, he's got big boots to fill. You know, he's on more money than Sam Baldock. We obviously released him in the last episode. As I said, if you've not already checked that out, make sure you check that out. Drop a like on the video, all that sort of stuff. Subscribe to the channel with your post notification bell on. So you never miss a video of when we upload on this channel. Not long left to go in this series now. One of the last matches that you will see on this channel. And it's going to be a highlight very early on for Coventry City coming straight away from kickoff. But Mumba, with a good interception, gives it into Kazim Richards. Plays the ball into Max Bird, who spreads it out wide to Buchanan. Playing a very attacking formation in this game. Buchanan, ball comes in all the way over to Ben Arthur at the back post. Back to Bally Mumba. Can he get a ball in? In for the suspended burn for this game. Goes back to Bird. Good tackle from Bright, but Mumba gives it back to Bird. Ball comes in. Wickham's there. Wickham scores. He's offside. I mean... He's given you a little taster of what he can do. It's a great ball and it's a fantastic header. He's there in the penalty area to head the ball. It's a great ball in from Bird on his weak foot. It's a fantastic header. Unfortunately, he's just slightly strayed offside. Um, from that goal kick, Coventry will come forward. But Bielik has loads of time here to pick the ball up. And he'll carry it out of the penalty area. Carry us forward to get us some yardage up that pitch. He's going to play a ball into Kazim Richards. He's waiting for the run of Hatton Benarfa, the former Newcastle man. Cuts inside and gives it to Bird. Into Kazim Richards. Goes down. Benarfa with a shot towards the back post, actually. And Jaden Braith is there for his fourth goal of the season. It's been all Derby County so far in the first couple of minutes. I thought that was actually a shot from Benarfa that was going well wide. But it's a great ball in from Hatton Benarfa towards the back post. And he finds Jaden Braith. I thought that could have potentially been a penalty. But the first time ball in from Hatton Ben Arthur. It's a great finish for his fourth goal of the season for Jaden Braith. That makes it Derby County 1, Coventry City 0. That's the perfect start to this game. The perfect start that we were looking for. We've got another chance here. Ball comes in. Good corner that is from Ben Arthur. But Bird, unfortunate for our sake, heads over. We are now eight points above the drop zone with seven games to go. So there will, there will only be one more episode. I think this is meant to come out Friday. So the final episode should be on Sunday of this series i'm not too sure I, like i said we'll see potentially we might do another season i'm not really too sure but for this season anyway it will be the last episode coming out on sunday so make sure you subscribe with your notifications on so you don't miss that it's been it's been a it's been a great series i've enjoyed it thoroughly i've enjoyed recording it enjoyed editing it enjoyed uploading it fingers crossed you guys have enjoyed watching it as well here is how the table is currently looking. If you look at some of the shocks, I don't know how Hull are currently in an automatic promotion push, but back on to our game. Martson with this throw in. I'm going to need to take a drink or else I'm going to lose my voice here. Very intense. Moore boots the ball forward. Bielik brings the ball down. He gives it to Bird. Spins away from his man. Good play that from Max Bird. He gives it into Kazim Richards. Little bit of lag and he switches out wide here to Buchanan. Being one of the more regular appearers in this team as Buchanan. He plays the ball down the line to Braith. Already got one goal in this game. Can he get a ball into the box? He's still going, Jaden Braith. He goes down. Referee awards a penalty. That is fantastic play from uh, Jaden Braith. They were calling for a, a dive. Ben Arthur finishes it nicely. It's a great penalty from Ben Arthur. Is that his first goal for the club? It is indeed. The man who, according to my assistant manager, is currently operating at League One standard, finally scores his first goal for the club, slots it away nicely into the back of the net. It's Derby County 2, Coventry City 0, just before half-time, we double our lead. Jaden Braith has actually had a very good game. He's got a goal, he's won the penalty for our second goal as well. He's been absolutely fantastic. This is what we need more of. I believe he's on loan from Manchester City. We paid a big fee for him, so I'm glad that he's coming and he's finally starting to do the business. But Coventry have a free kick. They lump it forward... Uh, Ryan Alsop? Hello? Goalkeeper? Are you alright? 
I don't know. I don't know what he's doing here. Who, who are you staring at? Who is he saying in the crowd that he doesn't like? Is he giving some abuse to, to Ryan Alsop? If there's ever a free kick here, your goalkeeper should not be stood about 10 yards out of off his line. Just, I, I can't believe what I've just seen there. I, gen like, I genuinely don't know what to say about Marshall and Alsop. They're two of genuinely the worst goalkeepers I have ever had when I'm managing a football club. It's just such an unnecessary goal to give away just after half-time. Goalkeeper, just don't be 10 yards off your line when they're obviously going to put a cross into the box. It just doesn't make any sense. Mumba, on the ball here, on this right-hand side. Plays it inside to Cullen Kazim Richards. Bit of space for him and he gives it into Connor Wickham. Back to Kazim Richards. It's a really poor, look poor ball looking for Ben Arthur. And Moore goes long. And Bright is on the ball here. Plays it down the line. Good inception though from Bielik. And he gives it into Mumba. At right back. What can he do with the ball? Goes down the line to Kazim Richards. Being a bit poor in this game so far. So he needs to do something with it here. Goes inside to Bird. Can he get a shot off? He does. Oh, off the crossbar. Good opportunity for him there. Great running from him. It's a good strike, unfortunately, for his sake. It comes just off the crossbar. I think we probably are going to have to make some more changes. I'm looking at some of them players out there. We do have a lot of tired bodies out there. Mumba's only just picked up a knock, so if he can carry on. That is more than fine by me. Firstly, I think we've got to get Albert Adome. Uh, probably want to get... I don't really know. We've not really got many options on the bench. We'll get Mason on for Buchanan. I feel like that one makes sense. Buchanan looking very tired right now. We have no centre mids on the bench, apart from Knight, who's not the fittest, to be honest, but he'll come on for Sibley. And can Ben Arthur play midfield? Can you play centre mid? Not really. Well, Hatton Ben Arthur's going, going to be a deep line playmaker. Craig Conway is going to come on on the right-hand side. Not ideal, to be honest, but we've got players where an international duty and Graham Shin is suspended. So, not great. Half an hour left on the clock. The substitutions are now on the pitch as well. Let's see if we can hold this game out. I mean, we've been definitely the better side in this game so far, but because of them subs that we've had to make, which... And ideal, to be honest, having to play Atten Ben Arthur as a central midfielder. But it's not the end of the world. Coventry with the throw-in. Martson on the ball. Into Shipley. All the way back to Cunningham. Into Shipley. Bit of space for him and he goes into Bright. Into O'Hare. Back to Sheaf. Out wide here to Hamer. Back to Sheaf. He goes back to Hyam. Into Clark Salter, the goal scorer. Sheaf into Shipley. Good plays from Coventry. Bright on the ball. Plays it. Oh, that's a good play from Coventry. Shipley's in. Shipley shoots. Shipley hits the post. Bloody hell, that was a good opportunity there for Coventry. And we've just less than 15 minutes left on the clock now. We'll go back onto a Cautious. I was. I will call this guy Victor. Whenever he, if that guy touches the ball, we've got to remember his first name's Victor because pronouncing his second name quite 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 the challenge to be honest. Bielik on the ball, carrying it forward. This is what we need more from him. Carries the ball very well. That's just such a poor pass. Waghorn chasing down and on goal. The former Derby County man. What a tackle that is though from Christian Bielik. That is absolutely unreal from Bielik. He gave the ball away. But his recovery challenge there was absolutely fantastic. We'll give him some more praise there. Four minutes of added time. Just don't concede now. Bright on the ball. Into Victor. Looking over the top. Martin Waghorn in on goal. Way! The former Derby County man can't apply the finish. He absolutely blazes it. In to row Z. See, if he scores an equaliser now, that, that wouldn't be ideal, would it? Oh, my God. They've hit the crossbar. They've hit the post. And now they've hit the crossbar. Not ideal that at all, to be honest. Conway hammers it forward. Looking for Kazim Richards. He can't get on to the end of it. Cunningham goes into Sheaf. Over the top. Victor's completely unmarked. Offside. He's offside. He's offside. It's fine. Nobody panic. He's offside. <sighs> Oh, my heart absolutely sank then. I thought, oh, no way we absolutely bottled this. We've bottled the games like that in the past before. Thankfully, we didn't bottle it in this game. Also, I'm just going to smash it forward. It's a poor clearance, to be honest. Conway picks the ball up. This is going to be one of them highlights. Hopefully, that means that the game is just going to be seen out and we're just going to see the full-time whistle. Conway on the ball. Goes into Connor Wickham. Back to Jason Knight. Into Jaden Braith. Just keep the ball there. They're not going to score if we've got the ball here. Conway, out wide to Bally Mumba, surely, just run to the corner, keep it there, oh don't give the ball away Mumba, that's the last thing he should be doing there, Sheaf goes long, Steeman beats Waggon in the air, back to Mumba, just don't give it away this time, goes into Kazim Richards, into Jason Knight, carrying the ball forward, into Connor Wickham, out wide here to Jaden Braith, we're over the four minutes now, and the referee finally blows for full time, it's finished Derby County 2, Coventry City 1, Finally, my voice can have a rest. What a game. What a win. That is a big three points for us in this relegation battle. We are now... Oh, wow. Preston are actually not doing too badly at the moment. We are now eight points above the relegation zone. We will be back tomorrow. Oh, what's happened here? Uh, 
just just ignore that. It's not like he's five star current ability or anything. Well, just ignore it. Pretend it never happened there. Eh? What we what we were trying to do it. Look at the schedule. We will be back tomorrow for this game against Blackpool and for this game against Cardiff. Unless there's a game where we can officially confirm that we'll, we will be surviving, we might be back for them. If not, we'll be back for the final two games of the season. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like, as always, will be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 200 subscribers. Trying to make that by the end of the year. So if you could subscribe, I would massively appreciate it. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when it upload. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all Sunday for the next episode. Peace.